Hello, I'm Warren Hodge, pastor of Bride Church of Christ. Welcome to Bride. It's a beautiful place to live, great place to visit. And uh, we're building a good church community here, which is interested in engaging and serving the local community. An added bonus to having a new worship centre is to be able to see our expanding children's ministry move from just one space into two spaces, utilising the old worship centre as a good space for children's ministry. The question as to why we built a new worship centre? Well, on many Sundays we were filled to capacity in the old building and um, people were out on some Sundays in an overflow. And of course with the possibility and potential of further growth, we needed a, a new facility to allow people to all gather together in the one space to worship God. The second reason would be, of course, a place better suited for contemporary worship with the capacity of better sound and acoustics. Uh, and um, so this new building really meets that objective really well is going well for us. And the third reason we would build a new worship centre like this would be that we found that old church buildings can be intimidating to people who aren't used to church or have had bad experiences of church. So we've found that this new worship centre meets that objective. But we know too that it's not just about a building. We have to be a community that is good at inviting and welcoming people and uh, encouraging them to come into our gatherings. Hi, my name's Graham Manser. I'm an elder at the Bright Church of Christ. I'm also the sports chaplain, accredited sports chaplain at the Bright Football Netball Club. Engagement with local community, I believe, starts with prayer, vision, commitment, and unity from our local fellowship. The church here has been a sponsor of the local football netball club for over 10 years. So we've put commitment and we've put skin in. As well as Graham's involvement with the United Bright Football and Netball Club, our congregation are involved in many of the groups within the community. So it's not so much starting new activities, it's getting involved in what's already happening in the community. And so people in our congregation are involved in the CFA, CWA, U3A, Men's Shed, Advocacy and Refugee Groups, Shire Council Committees, RSL, Probus, Bright Singers, and the list goes on. We're grateful here in Bright to CCFS, who early on in our project gave us guidance and encouragement into the financing of this project and uh, in the end gave us a loan to enable us to finish the project. And so it was a very harmonious project where the congregation came on a journey and began to understand the need and everyone became enthusiastic. As I said, we had the good builder in place, uh, council came on board and so in the end it was timely and on budget and a very successful project.